What is up you guys? The AK-47's here in my garage. And it is so much brighter than last time because I have two, one there, one there, 200 watt light bulbs installed. So it is about 7, th seven o'clock at night right now and it's dark outside and this is what it looks like in here. So, back to my bike. New parts came in. As you can see, no more mirrors. They're gone. Got my CRG bar end mirror over here. Right there. Clips onto the very end of the handlebar. And that ain't moving anywhere. I actually stripped the bottom screw putting it on. So, that was fun. Stripped the bottom screw putting it on. Uh, but it's on there good now and it won't move. So, very good. Now I don't have to see my elbows and everything when I ride. Uh, you already saw these, but levers. ASV black levers and the reason that I'm not going to change out my little adjusters right here on the levers is because I like the way that it matches the kill switch and that's probably only me that noticed that or likes that but I like the way it matches the kill switch it makes it kind of clean and stuff so that's one thing walk around the bike up to the front now look at this got the cycle pirate uh, anchor looking mirror block off plates for it right there. They're kind of spiky looking uh, which goes along with my new windscreen bolts right here. The spiked windscreen bolts which look amazing. And then I had two extra so what I did was I put one here on this side and put one over here on this side in the same spot Get all this crappy crap out of my bike here. But so I put one of those there, one there. And then what I did, I ordered the um, bar end mirror adapter for CRG mirrors. But I ended up not having to use it. So what I'm going to be doing is returning that. And since I can only return it for store credit, what I'm going to be doing is replacing all of the 4.5 millimeter screws uh, 4.5 millimeter Allen head screws right here, like all of these ones. Uh, I'm going to be replacing all of those with the black spike bolts. So, there, there, right there. Uh, I got this one, this one, and this one that hold on my fairing down there. And then the same on the other side over here. Got these two right here, and then these three by the engine. And I believe that that's all the 4 millimeter ones. Uh, I think I have two more right here that I could possibly do, but I'm not sure if I could do those or not. Because I wouldn't want them to like stab my leg while I'm riding. But So, that would be awesome. I could possibly do them right here at my brake fluid reservoir, but I think that looks stupid. But either way, I'm returning my adapter for more screws. So I have five on this side. And five on the other side, so that's ten. One set comes with eight, so I'm getting two sets. And then I'll have about six extra in case some of them fall out or some of them break. So, that was that, guys. And now, that's it for my bike. I have Cycle Pirate mirror block off. I've got the spike bolts for the windscreen. I've got two here. More for the sides on the way. ASV levers and bar and mirror from CRG. Now I will cut to when I'm back up in my room and I have my new gloves cut. Back in my room. Here are my old gloves. Speed and strength. As you can see, a bunch of perforation. New gloves from the country known as Austria. The racer high-end gloves. got the carbon fiber knuckles right there carbon fiber knuckles I uh, got carbon fiber on the pinky in two spots carbon fiber on the ring and middle finger in one spot uh, bridged pinky and ring finger and sorry my light does this it just flashes kind of weird anyway so I got a 
carbon fiber thing on my wrist bone for right there. Uh, full gauntlet on the bottom has kangaroo leather right here. Then it has a carbon fiber slider on the thumb and a five plus a huge pad on the palm for whenever you fall and you skid like that. So those are my new gloves. They were $200, full racing gloves. And uh, got a surprise for you guys tomorrow. I am going to be doing a meetup with the other moto vlogger known as Motonocity. Uh, I've been trying to schedule a meetup with him for quite a while now. And it's finally happening tomorrow. So we will have dual vlog commentary stuff for you guys. He'll be doing vlogs on his channel. I'll be doing vlogs on my channel. And overall... We will both have vlogs of our ride on our channels. <laughs> so I will put a link in his or a link to his channel in the description in down there. And you guys should go subscribe to him and check him out because he's a cool dude. Rides a Suzuki SV650 right now. He's thinking about upgrading to a 600. So don't know he, he normally uses his for commuting though so not more of like a go out and have fun i guess i mean he has fun but he just uses it for commuting so anyway go subscribe to him sorry if i've been breathing hard in this video it's just that it's really hot in this helmet because the uh chin deflector wind deflector thing on the bottom of my chin keeps all the hot air in front of my mouth so that's why I have to breathe so hard. I am sorry about that, but you will live. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. There's all my medals from various things over the years. Medals, trophies, bowling pins, all that kind of good stuff. So, yes. We'll go out with this Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R and my old CBR600 F4i. That's right. Look at those bikes. Look at the Lamborghinis. Look at those bikes.